Hi everybody. This time I hope you can see clearly what I'm doing. I have the flathead screwdriver here. Okay, this is the big one. And then I have these uh, bands, peerless hose clamps. It's a stainless steel. See? And it's got um a flat end, flat end uh, place where you put the flat end screwdriver. Okay. I have here the part that goes to the faucet. I'm not sure what it's called. And then I have my razor. We're going <laughs> to... Oh, sorry. Lights. I forgot lights. Um, get some lights here. Okay, my razor for cutting. Okay, now. This is a bit unconventional, but cutting this off works for me because this thing seems to be frozen. Now, this is intended to be a temporary fix until you can get the plumber in. I hope you saw that. Cut it off. Um, but <clears throat> it's been a while. Money is tight. So what we do, we tighten things up. Now, put this on here like this. Slide this in here like this. Bring it down like like so, okay, and get your flathead in place. Get your flathead in place. Get it close, and then, not too close, okay, then you start tightening it. Okay, I'm going to tighten it, and then after I tighten it, bring it close. I hope you can see this. Okay, tighten that up. Tighten that up pretty good. Is this thing recording? Oh, it's recording. Tighten that up. There you go. Put that away. Shrink it down a bit before we get it up on there. Makes life easier. Or should I say, makes things go faster. Get it down. I like this flathead because it's pretty big. Okay, bring it down a little bit more. Okay, now bring it back over. Still got a little ways to go. Tighten it down. There. Oops. Drop the little girl in there. I put it back like that. Okay. Put this in. This is only what about a half inch. Bring it down and tighten it up on there. I have to tighten it up some more before bringing that in. That's the least of our troubles right now. We just got to get this thing tight. Get it tight. Make sure. It... This is definitely man's work. You know, if you don't have a man, you could do this yourself. I'm telling you right now, it's still man's work. Yeah, squeeze this together, make it round. <clears throat> Need some man fingers. Let's squeeze that together so it's round. Oops, slit. Okay, time to time to fit it. Okay, we could start tightening it on there. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. Get it get it to fit like a girdle. There you go. As I'm turning it, this is coming out. And that's closing in to fit 
next to the rubber hose. And you can get that at any um, Home Depot or Lowe's hardware store. Okay, it's a little too tight. Gotta loosen it. Loosen it up so we can move it down. Oh, God. Loosen it up. Okay, now we can slide it now. That's where I want it. I want it. Oh, not there. Right there. See that? Now, slide the male part in. And proceed to tighten it some more. And hold it like this. This way I'm holding it anyway. And then tighten it. Twist it around that way. Remember, remember we gotta get it so uh so it's nice and tight. Because the pressure of the shower will blow it free. Okay, get that thing in there. Tighten, tighten, and tighten. Tighten that baby up. Looks like I'm getting it close to, to this thing. I don't want it close to that thing. Okay, I think I cut it on a slant, too. It's not a perfect... Oh, well, it's a temporary fix. It needs to work permanently while I'm taking a shower. <laughs> Without popping loose. Okay. I should have timed this. See how long it's going to take. Can you guys see this? Okay. Is it down in? Down in. So for those of you ladies who have a man around, husband, boyfriend, whatever, who's handy, be grateful. <clears throat> I hope it's tight enough because these lady muscles may not be as strong. Tighten it. There you go. That's as tight as <clears throat> that's gonna get. There. You see that little gap? I don't know if you can see the teeny weeny little gap. Hopefully that doesn't present a problem. Because I did cut it on a slant when I used the razor real fast. Razor's good. Does everything. Does underarms. Nice. Bikini, nice. But for this, it gave a slanted cut. So hopefully, I tighten it enough where the pressure of the hot water won't bust it loose. Okay, let me tighten it a little bit more. Make sure it's real tight. There. It's as tight as it's going to go. Let me see if we got any tighter. Mm. There. Okay. I should get a new one of these. All right. Now, put it here. Let me see if I could zoom in. Where is the zoomer? Put it there. Put it there. Okay. And when I put it here, I tighten this. Now, this is also another attachment. Okay, and then I hold that and tighten this. Best I can. Take the old one that I cut off. The old one and throw it away. Now, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works as planned. Okay. I have two big ones here. That's for a big job, maybe the car or something. Okay. Now you gently turn on the hot water. Okay. 
Hot water is coming through into the shower. And we could add a little cold water to it. And pressure's building. This water goes bursting out of here. We'll have water on my on my camera. So let me gently turn it up. See the pressure building right there? Turn it up a little more. I'm gonna have to go to the gym if this doesn't work. Jim has a pretty good shower. Okay, it's dripping. It's dripping, so it's not tight. I'll have to tighten it more. You know what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to uh, take it off again and cut it perfect so it's flush. So it's flush all the way around. But I wanna show you something. I could take a shower now. I can take a shower. See, that's the busted part. That's the knob that brings the water up. But the uh, cold water is not coming up. Only hot water. So that's got to be fixed. See here. Put that back in the saddle. Now we could. Now that we got the hot. Oh, it's not dripping anymore. Okay. I had to take this thing apart. Now we're turning up the cold water some more. Ha! Huh, that's interesting. It's not dripping. Hmm. Started off with a drip. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you.